Hey guys, this is Polo290. I am going to be flashing the Samsung Admire. I'm going to be putting a custom ROM on it. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I see a lot of people on YouTube with them showing you their admires, um, basically flashed with a nice looking ROM, but they don't show you how. Um, or they don't give you a real good step-by-step -step guide. Uh, in this video post, I am not going to post any links, okay? Um, I did this with the Wii, um, and it's just, I'm not going to be on YouTube 24-7. So, I'm not going to be there to update every link, each and every one. And there's too many of you lazy YouTube guys out there who just basically do not want to do the work yourself. You want it all spick and span right then and there. So, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, you're going to have to look for these custom ROMs yourself. What I will inform you of is a couple of things. Make sure you have Clockwork Mod on here. Do not have ROM Manager on here because you will brick this phone. I kid you not, you will brick this phone. You will cry. You will go back to Metro PCS. You will cry to them. And if you're not under warranty under the month, you won't get the phone for free. Or if you're under insurance, you will be paying. So please, do not use ROM Manager on this phone. Don't try it. Don't get curious. Don't do anything. Do not use it. I'm speaking from a knowing okay i'm speaking this from knowing do not use clock um raw manager on this you're going to use odin okay uh i'm not going to show you how to use odin you can really google that you can youtube that there's plenty of videos it's the same method really for everything i figured it out so you use odin and you basically can put clockwork um mod recovery on it through odin and that'll basically bring you to the recovery screen uh sorry for the noise in the background it's my pet birds uh so See my little, little pets. Well, that's my base. See hello, little birdies. See hello. Yeah, now you're quiet, right? Anyway, um, another thing for the Samsung Admire, I know a lot of people are having issues when it comes to SD card and reading the SD card. What I did was, um, I have this little bad boy right here, an SD adapter. Uh, usually when you buy a micro SD, they come with these. I recommend getting them. I have a whole lot of them because I'm a technician. So, you know, I have a couple of them. Uh, so basically what I do is I take the micro SD out, plug it into here, and I have a printer that actually reads these adapters for pictures, but it reads also all the files on it. So I, you know, just plug it in there. I have to make sure my micro SD is, is, is put in right there. Everything's done. Um, so yeah, that's an easy way to put the stuff, you know, to, to, to put everything on an SD card. Another thing, once you get Clockwork Mod on there, and your SD is in there, please make sure you back up your device. Make sure you do a NAND backup, um, and then copy it onto your computer. Uh, I would recommend you doing a titanium backup, uh, and make sure that is done. To do this, you must be rooted. I'm saying this because there are idiots out there who will try this and they are not rooted. It will not work, it would fail epically. So I'm just saving you the time and pressure. Do not ask me to make a root. Do not ask me to put descriptions in the link. Figure this out yourself. I'm just making a video to show you guys how to flash this. So with that being said, I downloaded a custom ROM from, uh, what's, this, uh, what's this thing called? I downloaded a custom ROM from a website. Um, I'm going to try it out now, I'm going to install it. I put the custom ROM on the micro SD card, copied it over, so now we're going to basically uh, try and do this and to flash it. So uh, just give me a minute. Let me turn on this stupid phone. Now, when you have Clockwork Mod installed, you're going to, turn you're going to hold the back button, the volume down button, the power button. You're going to hold it down until the screen comes up. When the screen comes up and it gets to the screen where it tells you the model, you're going to hold the home button. A lot of people don't tell you that, but sometimes you have to hold the, the home button to do it, and that'll actually do the job for you, okay? So right now, let me turn this on. This is going to be a little bit hard, so let me just show you guys that this thing is actually rooted. Uh, where are you at? Super user, super user, super user, super user is right there. So you know that this is a rooted device. Okay. So now we are going to shut this off. What else? Uh, press OK. I do not know how I'm going to hold this camera up while I am doing this. So, uh, yeah.
Okay. So, that being said, you want to hold this volume down and the power button. Okay. So, give me one second. I'm actually going to see if I can hold it up like this. I'm going to try and do it. Hold this with my chin. Okay, ready? Home button, boom. Now I am right here. I do not know if you can read all of this stuff. Okay, now. When you are flashing, make sure you follow the steps of the person who, the, who made the custom ROM. Don't try to be, you know, hey, I'm gonna do this. If you're gonna do that, then that means you are willing to have your phone bricked, okay? If you try to take extra steps and skip and everything, then that means you wanna get your phone bricked. So right now I'm gonna follow these quick instructions that this guy gives me. So he says, wipe data factory reset. So I'm gonna go down, down. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, wipe data factory reset. Make sure before you do this, remember again, you do the backup and restore. It says backup and restore, and then it'll give you another thing that says backup. So make sure you click that. All right. So. Let's do the wipe data in factory reset. You're going to scroll down. Yes. Delete all user data. Wiping. Wiping, 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 wiping. Yeah, I'm going to run this video real long. The reason why I'm running this video real long is because... I'm like that. I don't really like to stop videos. I don't really feel like editing this video. Like I said, I'm just making this video so you guys uh, can do this. Okay. It says, it'll say, data wipe complete. Next step, the guy says, he says, the next step is very important until I can fix my updated script to format properly, you will have to do it manually. So select mounts and storage. Then select format system. Home button is to select, so kind of figured you guys will figure that out now. You press the home button to select it. Then you click on format. Yeah, you did, the both of you guys just flew right into the window. Nice. Formatting system, now it says done. Okay, now we are going to go where it says now install zip from SD card. Reboot and then enjoy. So now we are going to get out of this. Press the back button to get out of that. Pull up a little bit. Get a little too close. And then it's install zip from SD card so we're gonna go here and then we're gonna do choose zip from zip card um, the one I have right now is one that this guy made it's totally different whoops went back by accident it is called you see it WRXTC underscore CH basically the phone model D Metro. Basically, this is gonna take off all that bloatware. There we go. Gonna press OK. It's gonna ask me, do you want to install it? Gonna say yes. Finding update packet, opening, mounting. It's doing the rest. And now it's basically installing. Uh, I do not know how long this takes. Um, I did the same exact thing for my Acer Iconia. Uh, hold on, give me one minute, I'll actually bring it out. All 
and why did that? <laughs> it said install from SD card complete. So it's actually already completed. But this is my Acer Iconia. The bubbles is because I have a little screen thing on here so it doesn't get messed up. But this is actually rooted. And this is running um, ICS 4.0.3. Yes, this is a very, very gorgeous looking tablet. I'm not going to lie. Turn this thing back on. Okay. And basically, it has ice cream sandwich on here. It has the whole thing, you know, where you could take all these off. Uh, it has the apps and everything like that. You know, it has a uh, shop and everything. It runs really fast. Um, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like when you talk to it and it actually doesn't cut off while you're talking. It's still... You can keep talking and talking and talking. And you see how it doesn't get, you know... Does, does everything for you so it's it's pretty badass anyway back to this yeah getting carried away uh and so from sd car complete now we are going to go back and we're going to go to reboot system now let's reboot It's gonna take a bit of a while to load up anyway. And I can tell it's loading because the letters and everything are resonating, glowing, or however you wanna say it. Going vroom, vroom. Can't believe I just made that stupid noise. Uh, when you're Doing the custom ROMs, like I said, just make sure you listen to all the um the instructions. Uh, make sure each one is different. Um, don't get mixed up. There are ROMs, there are themes. Uh, some themes run on specific ROMs. Like there are, I don't know if I'm saying this right. There's Odex ROMs and then there's DOX ROMs. Um, everything is totally different. Kind of depends on which is which. Uh, you know, some themes run on DOX, I'm probably saying this, I'm probably butchering the name, DOX ROMs, um, meaning basically they can't have DOX APKs. Uh, you can do a little bit of research into that. As you can see, the phone has been customized. Uh, didn't look like this before. Um, not that it looked like this before. Okay. Click here and open, see everything's a little bit of a different color. Rome's really not that bad. Uh, let's go back to our apps and take a look. He put some stuff that's called Easy Keyboard. He put uh, ES File Explorer on here. Uh, Super Users on here. If you notice, I don't know if you can notice, but everything is in blue. As you can see. And this ROM that I have right here is a uh, DOX, blah, blah, because of that type of ROM. So I can download spe specific themes, actually for this um, you know I don't think it'll have anything on here no I have to restore a couple of things with titanium backup I can restore a couple of uh, some data and everything hopefully and uh, make sure things go okay 